seconds. I'm just joking. You think he's only going to have seconds? <laughs> Dad. I'm still like working on what the battery is. Ew, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's easy. What is up guys, my name is Mark Senmaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, we are here on the last day of the 2022 Stampede Summer Camp, MSM Summer Camp. <laughs> we got diesel back there. We got a couple of cars getting some hop-ups, but all the cars are done. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below which one your favorite one is, because we're about to do a tour of all the completed Stampedes and they look so good. can't leave these out. This is the project uh, TRX4 that I got the other day. I'm already, I'm already almost done. I got a lot of stuff onto it. Look, I got the Pro Scale light kit. Here's Jason's Charby. Check out that awesome old Bronco with the Flamingo on top. Oh man, they look so freaking good. So on the last day of summer camp, we just drive RC cars and have fun. Uh, right now, we just got done eating pizza and we set up some jumps and ramps and stuff. Uh, there's already people that are broken inside, so I'm gonna go fix them. They're like slamming into each other full blast, but look at this. They're just jumping, having a blast. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Screaming. Oh my God, I think that was my son that just destroyed that car. Chase, wrenching our cars. I was wrenching our cars. That's why I didn't get a lot of content. I've been wrenching our cars the whole time. Uh, people are going out there doing head-on collisions and stuff, but it's rounding up the end of the MSM summer camp for the Stampede is here. But we have another one next month, the Slash. Just as fun, it's just different. But, oh man, so much fun. Ah, so that is a wrap on Summer Camp. If you're not familiar with the MSM Summer Camp, basically it's like a camp for adults and kids and you get a pit mat, tools, everything you need to complete a car, including the car itself. Pit mat, tools, battery, charger, paint, kit, and we build RC cars all week in the camp and it's freaking awesome. And at the end of the summer camp, you take everything home. So it's a really good kickstart if you wanna get into the RC hobby. And man, it's just so much fun. The worst part about it is this, the end. It really is sad because basically how it works is the first day, everyone's kind of timid. Like they don't, there's not really a lot of talking. Second day, People start to open up a little bit. Third day, the cars actually start looking like cars and people start getting excited and really start bonding. Fourth day, we're painting bodies, mounting tires. The cars are actually, they come together and everyone's really, really excited. And they talk about how excited we are about driving them on Friday. And then Friday, it's like a big family of bonding. And it's so sad because a lot of these people, they come in from out of town and I probably won't see them for a very, very long time, possibly never again unfortunately but uh, it's sad it's like you you build this family build this bond make these memories and they're all gone one thing we did do though is we did go crawling after the camp was over so the camp ended friday at nine o'clock and we all went up to the trail area the place where we do the msm moonlight crawlers events and we just did some crawling i brought my bronco that i i say i finished 
th let's just say this phase of the Bronco finish because I got more parts that just came in that I'm about to put on it. But yeah, we just did some crawling at night and it was so much fun. So one thing I didn't do in one of my previous videos is tell you guys what I got for Father's Day. I got something really, really cool for Father's Day and it's kind of RC related and you'll see what I'm talking about when I show you. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you guys. Oh man. You guys ready for this? You ready? This thing is so awesome. Oh man, guys, I got a Honda Ruckus. So if you're asking how this is RC related, it's because I actually started riding these little pit bikes at Southern Nats. And when I rode Bobby's Grom, I was hooked. I didn't want a Grom though. I've always wanted a Ruckus because there's all different types of things you can do to it. I don't know why I did that because I keep all my stuff stock anyways. All I did was add a little bag. But I did bring up, I did buy this brand new and I've already put 85 miles on it. I think it's 85, did it say 85? Yeah, I've already put 85 miles on it since I've had it. I've only had it a week, and I'm just loving this thing. This is not a transition into a motorcycle channel. Honestly, I, again, I've just always wanted one of these. I'm also going to use this thing in the parade. <laughs> During the parade when we're driving all the RC cars, I'm going to be on this. Because last time, there was a pretty big gap between all the RC cars, so it's kind of hard to catch back up to the front but I think it would be really, really cool to have it in the parade. It's not super fast. It's actually not a motorcycle. It's considered a moped slash scooter because it's under 50 cc's when it comes to the motor size. So it's not fast. I think when I'm going downhill with the wind behind me, I can maybe hit 45, but for the most part on flat ground, maybe 35 uphill 30. So it's just a fun little thing. And man, I'm just having a blast with it. And of course, this beauty will be at big RC races where the RV is super far from the track. That's the whole reason why I was riding Bobby's that one day at Southern Nationals and golly, so cool. Well, that's a wrap guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.